Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is the Hip Hop Seattle Podcast. It's your boy Kalinati. It's your boy Miss High Def, Henry Hunter K. We got a special guest today. Very special guest. Holly Michelle. Holly Michelle in the Here building. Let's make some noise. Thank Made it you, through. Man. Thank you for coming. No, thank you for having me. Hell yeah, man. How was the day? How was the week? How was the weekend? All that. Oh, man. It's been busy, but productive. Mm, so good. today, just, you know, every day we trap. Got to get it. Gotta so, you know, just been, yeah, just got to get it. So been working on, even though we just dropped the project, still mm-hmm. just working on new music, writing, being okay. creative, trying to stay in that creative Always space. Always in the studio. Mm-hmm. We're going to speak on that EP, by the way. But, Cal, how you been, man? I mean, I've been great. I've been blessed. Blessed. Super yeah. blessed, man. Any new, Anything new in the, in the any, been in, uh, you know, events and shit or just anything new in your life? Um, I'm watching that yeah, Takashi, uh, what, what's the word for it? Corp, corp proceedings or case? I'm watching that with popcorn mm. in my crib. Hey, man, that shit's just every single day. There's just brand new news, man. We've been we've been covering some of that stuff. And that shit just, he just talking about more shit every day. Yeah. And it's just sad, but fuck it, man. I guess grab the popcorn. Are you, are you following that madness? I mean, I follow the memes that pop up on my timeline, <laughs> so I get up, I get updated. I'm like, okay. So, it's just know. funny though. I mean, that, I mean, it's only gonna uh, get crazier yeah. from here. So. Yeah. But other than the that, memes have though, been fire. The memes really have been kind of yeah, the memes right. have been fire. <clears throat> so I'm Our meme game, popcorn. everything has just been shifting. First, we had the fucking uh, pop or Popeyes chicken thing that was going on. Is that even a meme spicy, anymore? Spicy. Does anybody care about that anymore? Is that uh, gone? I haven't been seeing it. That I shit came and went. Cause, it's because they, they said they're not selling any chicken until October. They really? sold out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sold I still out. haven't tried a sandwich yet. Me neither. neither. But so. that shit came and was literally the shit. Like, everybody was talking about it. It was just everywhere now. Nobody gives a fuck. And now we're yeah. talking about Takashi. I got uh, I don't know why, but whenever something becomes hot out of nowhere, I always feel kind of suspicious about it. It's so a I'm flash like, in the pan. That <laughs> That's all it is. What's in that red ready? Man, whatever. You into all that meme shit and all that funny shit on Instagram? A, not a lot. Like, I don't follow a lot of memes on Instagram. Like, I really wait for them to pop up on my Facebook, and then mm. I steal them from Facebook, and then I post <laughs> oh, them on my Instagram, shit. and then everybody laughs. I'd be like, yeah. That's what you got to kind of do, low I key. provide Smart. your memes. Take it from now. one platform, take it to the other you know, one. I'm going to help y'all out, because my timeline on Facebook be popping. They be pop. They be sharing some funny shit. Oh, can I cuss on here? Yeah, you can yeah. say whatever oh the fuck God. you want, okay. man. Real okay. shit. Yeah, they be saying some funny shit, so I would be like, ah. Okay. Yeah, so. Do you clap back? If anybody says some bullshit, do you clap back? Are you one of those people who are like, man, fuck it, I'm about to just, I have time right now? Um, I time today. No, because I pull up. Ooh. Okay. You know? No, I'm just, I'm just not, I just feel like if you're, if you, I mean, it's, you know. It just, Damn. It just, <laughs> shit, there I we go. I will state my opinion. You know, I have no problem stating my A opinion. A strong opinion or you're just getting this, you know. It depends on how much I feel like typing. Because, right. like, I don't really like, I don't even like texting back. What if they're cussing already? I mean, then you got a lot of, you know, I hope that you got that energy when you see me. Nah. <laughs> hey, man, what is what it is, shit. Nah, but it, it, it just depends. Funny. Yeah, it, it just depends. So some things you can invest energy into and then mm. other things just aren't really worth, worth it. it. Yeah, so you could just kind of like, you know. You feel like you need uh, social media and all that to push music or you feel like you can do it without? You have to. You, you have to. to. You got to think about like the day and age, like where we're at today, how people like you got to think about the consumer and like what mm. they're doing. Like, is niggas buying CDs no more? No, no. because the game is changing. Yeah. You feel me? It yeah. streams now. Yeah. Artists aren't really making monies off their streams unless you're, like, really trapping your stream. Really you're, getting it's it up there. It's events. It's your merch. Mm-hmm. It's shows, you know? So it's mm-hmm. just, like, you got to be able to keep up with the game. So to, And then, like, if you can really grow your social media, it's, like, free promo. So, like, why it wouldn't is. you? Like mm-hmm. that's how that's how, like the first thing you do when you hear about somebody. I know me. I'm YouTube. Right on YouTube. If you don't, if you're that's the first thing I go to. Mm-hmm. So if you're not on YouTube, then I'm like, man. That's interesting. So YouTube is the first. What do you go to second then? After you, okay. What if you? If I if, can't find you on YouTube, I'm not looking for you nowhere else. Okay. I'm what a if, lazy consumer, and you have to make it uh, easy for me to find you. Because if I got to do more than like two clicks, I don't even like. Not nah, as uh, it's too much work. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. So let's just say you do find the person on YouTube, and you like what you see. Now what do you do? After that, let's say you like the video. I'm gonna go shit. watch another video. Okay, you like the second video, then I'm what? gonna go watch a third video. So you don't ever go to the Instagram or check nah, out I gotta the. Watch, well, that's the thing. It's like I gotta. It depends on how much I like that first song. If it's okay. like, damn, this song is interesting. Not good enough for me to go download, but it's mm. it's interesting enough to where I want to go see what else that you do. Intrigued, yeah. Yeah. So now you've caught my attention. So now I'm gonna see what else, like what else, con- what other content you have on YouTube. At least mm-hmm. for me, that's how I bring in my okay. stuff. So that's just interesting to see. I'm I'm sure a lot of people can find some insight in that because 
they're trying to figure out what to put the music on in the first place or what to pay attention to. And I know YouTube is hella big. It's a, it's fucking yeah, it's it's billions of, of people platforms. watching that shit. You yeah. feel me? And Spotify's up there too. But then there's also other platforms that people are people are. I mean, what's it called? What's it called? Lil Nas X. He blew up off of fucking TikTok. TikTok right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's blowing people up. So I mean, like, what do you focus on the most? What do you feel like you strive the best on, or what? What do you? I don't know that. Mm-hmm. What, what have you seen the most? Um, you know, draw from. I guess. I think. For me personally, I feel like the places of focus should be your YouTube because Mm -hmm. anybody can find you on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your Instagram, because as soon as you get a decent amount of followers, you can make your money. Okay. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Instagram and then TikTok. If you if you're not up with the times with what's popping, what's going to be popping, then how are you going to stay in the game Mm -hmm. to you know what I mean? If the game's always changing and evolving, you got to change with the game. That makes Mm -hmm. sense. So it's just like TikTok had like took off like a couple years ago. But that's what all the kids are doing. Mm -hmm. When I see all the young people, they're like, oh, TikTok, this TikTok. Have you used it before? You damn right. (laughs) You damn right. I got some old ass TikTok videos. You scroll down far enough. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are listening to Gary Vee. I'm yeah, on yeah. it. Okay. okay. He talks when, about when he TikTok. Said, he talks he about does the, talk about that shit. He talks right. about the changes and what's like what he thinks is going to be ending up trending and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. you have to be, mm-hmm. you know, forward focused. I watch, I saw that post hey, and I downloaded a a TikTok right after that. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. Like, Whoop. yeah. So, I mean, so your YouTube is lit then? Your YouTube's probably you put a lot of content on there? I mean, you I can put more content out. Okay. You know, I like the thing with me though is like, I just am not a social media person. So it's like I have that fight between like, not ever wanting to post, but knowing like, all right, you got to keep your content flowing. Okay. Yeah. So for me, I've been focusing a lot on building my Instagram mm-hmm. and my YouTube, but I feel like it could be bigger. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so. YouTube is difficult because they, they're changing their shit every day. They change their, actually everything, everybody's changing their shit. You got to find new ways. Cause there's so many people coming out. You got to find a whole new way to get on. And if it's not like, Mm-hmm. I feel like even if it is, it is top of the you know top of the line content, it's like man, how the fuck do you get that shit to hella more people? Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like you said earlier, people aren't really like buying physical copies, and they're not people aren't trapping their, their mixtapes out of their trunks anymore. You mm-hmm. kind of got to go where people are congregating. Mm-hmm. If you if you want to sell something to the people, you got to go where the people are. You know, mm-hmm. that's the reason why malls were so popular back then because malls were the one stop where you can get everything you needed. That is true, and that's just falling out too. People are not really fucking with malls Cause, like that because no now more. it's quicker just to order offline. Get whatever what you, you want to drink. What's the last time that you went to the mall and like actually bought shit and I actually went there like I'm going to the mall to buy shit? Okay, so I only go to the mall every like probably once every like three months, and that's when I gotta like re up on like my makeup because I don't okay. order that offline. But other than that, unless okay. like you test it out and shit and go and actually you feel cu- okay. How do not like I already know what I'm gonna buy. Yeah. Oh, you know what you're gonna buy yeah, already. I get the same thing every time. Okay, word. Okay, so, okay. You know, I, I, I gotta got go you. I don't know nothing about spot. that shit. And then I got to get the same thing. So, you Word. know, you might catch me on the side, like running in the <laughs> South Center, you know. And South to get Center some, spot. You know. There's so. hella, okay, South Center is not going to get old ever, I guess. I guess it just depends on what mall. But Northgate just got busted down because they put the. Uh, I know. Aren't you guys excited for the hockey? I'm so ready for it. I'm, I'm not, not really hyped about hockey at all. I was, I was like, man, I was like, man, where the fuck is the basketball at? I feel like it's coming in time. But in the Bruh. meantime, yeah. I'm ready to turn up. I don't know. Have you guys ever been to a hockey game? I, I haven't. Game. Aren't they kind of lit? Yes. Is there black folks at hockey games? I mean, there's Real like talk. three. There's like two or three, two including or three. yourself. But you know mm. what? If you just <laughs> are you respected there? They fuck with us. I mean, I ain't never had no problems, but okay, cool. you know, I ain't, but you, I don't, I don't know. We don't like them. Kind of, tell them to go yelling. around. I don't fuck them. We don't fuck with them. <laughs> but yeah, they Anyways, be turned up. I'm just joking, kind of. But uh, yeah, so let's let's go on to like the, the the new EP. So what inspired the new EP? It's called Lately. Lately. Yeah. Lately. Yeah. Four tracks. Four tracks. Four tracks. Check that out today. I'm, I'm I'm fucking with it. I'm yeah, enjoying it's it. Really good. Where did the Where did the vibes come from? How What was the inspiration behind this title? For one, the artwork and just the whole idea behind it. You know, I think. Um, okay. Well, so basically, I ended, so I have an, I had another EP that was already done, mm-hmm. and I felt like it just wasn't what I was kind of like looking for at the moment. So then I was like, all right, let me rethink. Let me go back to the drawing board. So that's when I linked up with Skip. Mm-hmm. And he just kind of just started like sending me stuff. He kind of already like, he's, he he actually did my Black Sheets single that I did um, before. And so he kind of already like knew my vibe. So he was just kind of sending me stuff and like just whatever I liked, I was like, yep. And I just kind of just did track after track. And then the ones I just liked the most, I just like, all right, these are the four. I felt like the four tracks I selected, I was like, they're all kind of different. 
in style, mm -hmm. you know, but I feel like you could hear it, still hear him on the radio, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know. I just kind of threw them together. The um, I initially didn't even want to name the project lately. I was going to mm -hmm. call it, I don't even remember what I was going to call it. Maybe I was going to call it. I don't remember, but it wasn't no. going to be lately though. Okay. And then, so like last minute, I think I switched it up and was like, you know what? Nah, I just going to call it lately. And Switching. then, yeah. Okay. Well, that was a really good decision because you ran it back a couple of times today. What was your yeah. favorite track off of that joint? Um, which is why I was in the shower, you know? <laughs> best best <laughs> place to listen to R&B, really arguably. Good. Is what I Isn't said, it crazy know? that listening to R&B in the bathroom in the shower I see that's yeah. the, the true test because if it's bad, you're gonna want to try to get out and, that's and true. change and that shit. Your life, yeah. change it. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to sit yeah. in that rest of that shower like, man, this is whack. You feel nah. me? Nah, so, nah. The shower test was approval then. Yeah, it was approved. Um, there we go. Uh, I like uh, Fuck Boy and the third track. It's slipping my mind. It had it had the Caribbean uh, yeah. vibes to it. The oh, the lately. Lately, oh, lately yes, the, the title, title track. track. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That song. I just it was very interesting. I like how uh, I think it was lately. I like that you can do the like the traditional smooth sounding R and B, but at the same time you like you're aggressive. There's vocals. some edge to it. There's yeah, there's like a little, a little bit of like it. some mm, mm. some mm. Okay. And I was like, I remember I was like washing my hair, like okay, you know. You got a visual out. <sighs> okay, so I I do have a visual for Fuckboy. I have like mm -hmm. two visuals for Fuckboy. Two of them. I know that. So okay, <laughs> yes. So that's why I haven't dropped one yet because I'm really indecisive because they're two really good videos, mm -hmm. but I feel like they're just so different in energy. And so okay. it's just like, uh, so, you know, I don't know. And then I am going to shoot probably a visual. I don't know which one yet. I think I'm going to do like a poll and kind of just let people decide to see what they want to see a visual to mm -hmm. and um, just go from there. But That's yeah, right. so Fuckboy will probably be the next visual I drop once I decide which one to drop. Mm -hmm. Have you seen where like, have you ever looked into like where people rock with you the most? Like you like already looked at the analytics everyone was like, oh damn, people are playing my music here or whatever. Have yeah, you ever into that yeah. Shit? What's the craziest place you probably saw people listening to your shit? Um, I think you know, I think Australia. I always get yes. pumped when I see Australia, like because so I've always wanted to go to Australia. And like mm -hmm. before, I think like last year when I looked at it, like I think I had like two streams from Australia, and mm -hmm. I think the most was I think like Canada or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. But now it's just like I don't know what I'm doing different. Mm -hmm. But like Australia is like my second top like international wow. place that. So I'm like. I gotta think about yeah, so whatever you're doing, that, that people fuck with that. Out. That's what, yeah. exactly that's the places you look for that tour. That's the same thing that we're trying to like tap into because like yeah, exactly, it's what we should be doing. Because that's Real the thing talk, though, it's just man. like international. It's like it's just it's a different type of love. It's mm -hmm. like a different type of bag. You mm -hmm. know Very what I mean? True. Mm -hmm. So it's just like that's definitely it's like goals. You know to mm -hmm. to get to get somewhere. Get access. Yeah. Have you traveled <laughs> anywhere to with music? Anywhere besides uh, the States? Have you gone into the country at all? Mm, not out of the country, but mm -hmm. I have done um, like a mini tour where I've done a couple of different shows in some different states, which has pretty, been pretty cool. That's so, dope. yeah. So I've done like California, Oregon. Um, and then I do a lot of shows out in Bellingham, which is pretty cool. They always show love out there. How is Bellingham? I hear, I hear the same thing about Bellingham. Is it pretty lit out there? Is it as lit as people say? It's lit. Bellingham Damn, is lit. Okay. Yes. I opened up for Devin the Dude out there. And like, the, I don't know. Every, it's just like the love. It's just everybody like, came out too for that shit? Like, yeah, everybody dope. came out. Like they have like a little hip hop scene out there. They, mm. they show love. And the promoters are always cool. The promoters, they're, they're, they're cool people. So yeah. shout out to Bellingham, man. What, what is out there besides that, though? Can you do shit during the day there? Like, where, you just came for the show, right? And you kind of just... You know what? <laughs> I can't... I don't know what goes on there in the day. But I will tell you one time I did drive to Bellingham because I was on Craigslist and I was buying this little... Um, do you guys know what a sugar glider is? Sure. No, it sounds crazy, though. What is that? A okay, so a sugar glider, it's like this little marsupial. It's really cute. Oh, it it looks like a, a... This is an animal. Yeah, I'm and it looks like a... <laughs> Oh, what is this? Sugar. So yeah, so it looks like a little it looks like a little flying squirrel. It's really cute. Oh shit. Anyway, so I was on the way to Bellingham to buy one of these from this person off of Craigslist. Damn. And anyways, they had a good view. So mm -hmm. but other than that, I don't know what they do out there in, in, in Bellingham. Wait, so you have one of these right now? You know, unfortunately she passed away. Oh, no. But I still have like my dog. I got my fish tank, which, you know, I got a couple I got my little Jack Dempsey, my convict in mm. there. They be fucking shit up. <laughs> Damn, how do you manage like what I'm saying as an artist, how do you manage having a dog as a dog be like having they just be needing shit? 
Okay, let me tell you, like, the dogs is cool if you know what you're doing. Like, you got to, like, for okay. me, like, I treat my dog like a kid. Like, he knows I'll he'll get fucked do. up. Okay? Like, nigga, oh, I'll. Stay in line. Yeah, Chokes but no, but he talks back. Like, I feel like, I feel like a, a day in the week in the pound, and he'll appreciate what he has over <laughs> here. Okay? But, yeah, no. Nah. But a tired dog is a happy dog, so. That's you know. crazy, though. Dogs are, yeah, that's, I mean, if you can take care of a dog and, and, and still be grinding. Salute. Kind of practice. Give you Otherwise, practice. you got to grab a cat, man. Be, be Gucci. Nah, the dog sitter, yeah, dog sitter cat, is necessary. Good. You know? Shout out to sis. Every time. Put she the, knows. Every time put I got to Put the dog in the town. video. You feel me? Yeah. People say you don't get any of the love. Then you get the kind of love that you get from a dog. Mm -hmm. That like, is true, though. Kind of Dogs are the, the most loyal. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. facts, actually. Yeah. My you first video, I put my dog in. My very first video I ever shot, I shot with YG Preach for my Do You. Mm -hmm. And my dog, she's all up in the background. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Shit. She has some cameos in some videos as well. You were in the uh, French Yoso record as oh, well. Yeah, Jill Call. Oh, Jill Call. yeah, she was hard that as fuck. was fun. Yeah, yeah was everybody fun. was calling me Miss Parker for like <laughs> two weeks straight. Every, <laughs> I went to Walmart, niggas was like, Miss Parker, I didn't even have no brows on. I'm like, nigga, get out my face. <laughs> how long was how was the process doing the video and everything? everything the was process smooth and cool, was cool. Like, yeah, everybody was super professional. That's what's up. Um, pulled up and I was on time, actually. At Water Media, shout Boom. out French Yoso as well, Mafi D. Yeah, so everybody was super cool. It was good energy. Every time we do collaborate on anything, it's always like just super cool energy so but you know i i like it when it's a quick shoot they got mm. me in they got me out you know did my couple takes you mm. know so but it was good it was cool and the the final project i was looking you know it came out really nice yeah thank you thank killed you. it you uh mm. you also had a chance to work with the uh, frenchy also on uh road run office of oh, yes. apply pressure apply yes. pressure get that shit yes. off yes. that was really really dope yeah. hearing, hearing both y'all sing on that yeah, that was super fun. I had fun doing that track, too. He actually, like, I don't know. He, I just remember I was in Miami. He sent me the track, and I was just like, this is kind of fire. I'm <laughs> fucking with this. Okay. Gotta go for it, yeah. So, man. yeah, as soon as I got back in town, I think I, like, dropped it, or I recorded it, sent it, um, or actually I came to the studio to meet up with him, Yeah. and uh, P. White recorded it there, and, um, man, I didn't even know he was going to put it on the album, so. Yeah, he said you recorded it, like, a while back. Like yeah, the song yeah. Was done he, for a while. Yeah, he was sitting on it for a while. Yeah. That's how I beat, he man. wanted to be perfect. Sometimes you just Perth gotta moment. let it marinate. You just yeah. gotta, you know, and timing is everything. So you got I, some shit in the stash too. You been holding on to? Oh yeah, oh Word. yeah. Okay. I got some stuff. I, I got like I got videos to visuals off of the EP that I didn't drop. That oh, wow. I think I'm just gonna drop like as singles. So I think this like last year I've really just been kind of like staying down, like grinding, mm -hmm. and just realizing like, damn, content is like everything it is though. exactly so it's just like having those singles ready to drop having visuals on deck and then just like stay just like having something you so know this will be the project for right now lately will be the project for right now and then you're gonna be doing singles for a while and you, are, are, do we have a, an album in the foreseeable future mm. any drops you want to give us on the hip-hop seattle platform right now so we can exclusive know, some exclusive no. shit if you want to let us know you can you know, go <laughs> okay there. okay you know um the, this album. This so the lately project is definitely gonna be just like a for right now, like just to mm -hmm. kind of like hold you over. I think this was just kind of just like you know it's it's coming. Mm -hmm. In terms of like an album though, I don't think I'm gonna be doing like an album like anytime soon. I feel like for me, I have my creative switches like so much from like what I, I want to do this like. Every time I'm hit skip, I want to do this style. I want to do mm -hmm. that. I want to do this. He can't even, he's like, lady, figure it out. <laughs> you know, so I know I stress him out. But I think so for me, I'd like, I have fun just dropping singles. I feel mm. like it just, it makes sense for me right now. But I yeah. think one day when I get to a certain level, mm -hmm. then I would want to drop an album. Well, like but until then, I think I'm going to just do like an EP here, EP there, and then like, you know, sprinkle you guys. I like that singles. game plan. That's dope. It's a good, good, yeah, good you can strategy. put that focus into those records and really make the dopest shit. That's dope. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's what you got right now. You got four solid songs, have some different, uh, different vibes on there and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely going to hold those people over and shit. An EP for every season, maybe. You know? Oh, yeah, that's that could, cute. Yeah, that could like work. That yeah, okay. put a little, put a little uh, series Christmas, of some Christmas sort. Christmas album. Okay, I know, huh? A little, Try to get there's, one. There's, yeah, honestly, yeah. there's, 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 there's good money in that. A little Christmas trap. I might have to do that. Uh, no, jingle them bells. Can't remember the the group. They're like Metatronics or something. It's like eight of them, and they all sing together. Eight of harmony. They, they oh the um the guys. I couldn't tell you. I the think name so. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, they, they're like do the K-pop, right? What the fuck? And they like made majority of their money off that first. Off a holiday music. Are they the Asians? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Boom. I didn't even know. 
But I just know that they do like some type of like K-pop. I always see them. All the like little kids. Oh, no, kids no, no. Them. I'm thinking of. Uh, Am I thinking about the right people? I, I just realized there's a black guy in, in the group I'm thinking oh, about. Oh, no. Nope, like I don't even know. black guy. Nope. And there's like. Mm-mm. Yeah. I'm talking about a totally different group then. But they sing in harmonies and their first project was a Christmas album. And off that, they finessed two studio albums and made hella money. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. I heard I heard them playing in the mall one time. I'm like, yo, who's, who's this? You know the little uh, the app? It was a Siri. Mm. I'm like, yeah, look look this up. And he told me. And I'm like, oh, for real? I seen the streams. So I'm like, for real, for real? Because that's how they do it. People want to hear that shit. Mariah Carey, I think she did one like every few years. She uh-huh. used to drop those Christmas albums. My mom used to copy those. Yeah. yeah. Cause Mariah so, gets money out that every year, I'm sure. No, she yeah. still does, even though she flopped that one year on stage, crazy. Yo, but everybody has a bad performance. I feel like she R&B artists think, get judged crazy. differently than like a a rock star. I've, I've been to a couple like rock shows, and the lead vocalists sound trash, mm-hmm. bro, and when nobody the fuck, say when anything. The fucking record yeah, is still different. going, bro. It's different. It's yeah. different for that level. You're, it's different because you always did it one way, and then that one year was just different. But anyways, I was gonna say like, what's the R&B? What's the R&B grind like as a as an R&B artist in Seattle, because I know, you know, you have the rappers who feel the type of way. Everybody kind of has this feeling in Seattle, you know, that we're actually, yeah, a little bitterness, a little chip, whatever. But we're growing past it and shit, and everybody we're knows growing. that we're growing past it. But at the same time, we know, you know, we have that feeling. How is the grind for you in the town? Do you, as far as R&B? As far mm-hmm. as R&B goes, you know? You know, to be honest, I think that I have it low key a little easier than for for me because i'm a female Mm. so for me it's just like i get hit up all the time people want like verses they want me to sing but to be it's actually funny because a lot of people hit me up more for rap verses than they do for like singing hooks or anything like that which one do you enjoy more rapping or singing it depends on what mood i'm in like if (laughs) i'm in my feels like Mm -hmm. depending on which feels you know i might just be like i just might just be singing all day you know But to be able to shift between two is that's a blessing too, you know what I mean? Be able to sing yeah. and rap, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I, yeah. Do I have fun with it because I can do, I can get a lot more creative, and then like, I don't know, I could just do a lot more if I'm like spitting. But it's just easy when I'm just like being able to be creative, mm-hmm. and then I just don't like to limit myself. So yeah. it's just like, you know, I might get sent like something super simple, but just being able to finesse it however I want, I feel like mm-hmm. I like to try different things. Mm-hmm. So which came first though, singing or rapping? I've always been a singer first. Singer mm-hmm. first. Yeah. Okay. And then like, I don't know. And then just like one day I feel like, I don't know. Like one day I just went to the studio with my homeboy and I just tried it. And I was like, damn, I, yeah, I guess like it's not that bad. <laughs> Music okay. is amazing, man. Music is amazing. Yeah. To be yeah. able to freely express yourself in any way. Yeah. That's yeah. a gift. Yeah. I, and that. I think my first verse is still like probably like one of my like favorite verses I think I've ever done. For real? Okay. Stuck yeah. yeah, with you? Yeah. yeah so it was cool. And then ever since then, I think people were just more like, damn, maybe actually it's kind of good. But so I was like, okay. Mm. All right. So yeah. So I just flow. I just go with the flow. Little things like that inspire. That's what's up. It's, yeah. it's dope that people are not more willing to listen to female rappers and give that a chance. Because I remember back a certain point where At somebody point. would be trying to show me and a group of friends somebody and they'd be like, oh, that's a girl. Turn that off. And I'm like, she's snapping. What you mean? Right, right, right. There's yeah. A lot, there's a lot. The lane has been open definitely lately. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, the lane is open. And so it's just like, you got to. Being able to do both. You got to dive in there. You, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. I think you should try just different avenues. Just, you know, mm-hmm. whatever inspires you, you know? But this newest project is primarily, you would say, R&B. Yeah, this one's primarily more R&B-ish. Mm-hmm. But it still has know? that, you know, that still has a hip hop undertone flavor. a little bit a little flavor you know what i mean so you can still tell you know it does yeah you know I mean? and but i think it's definitely r&b my next couple of tracks are probably going to be a lot more turned up more turned okay. up you know okay. so okay. at least I that's some like exclusive shit that we know right yeah, now yeah it's definitely going to be more <laughs> turned turning up. It up yeah a little more i i feel like i've been getting a lot of requests for like some ratchet shit so mm-hmm. i don't know hey. so i'm gonna just turn up and we just gonna just i'm gonna just keep dropping stuff on your guys's heads and just you know we hey. appreciate it. that's exactly what the, if that's yeah. what the people want shit deliver you feel me yeah mm-hmm. as yeah. long as you like it as long as you're enjoying it too you know oh and, yeah i and, love and it i love everything you're putting process. out that's all it. that that's all I love that matters. love getting in the studio love performing love i think creating the visuals are my favorite part the visuals mm-hmm. okay yeah but all aspects, all everything comes together, and that shit is definitely. You feel like everything's kind of coming together slowly, or, or the way you kind of want it right now. Or you kind of 
Yeah, I mean, slowly but surely. But, I mean, for me, I'm always, like, impatient. I'm always feeling like, oh, this should be happening, like, right now, right mm-hmm. now. And then, like. Perfection is kind of why everything yeah, in tune, you know. Exactly. So, especially because I feel like I have my hand in a lot of everything that goes on. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like. I mean, having that trait plus patience, that shit only makes victory. That's, like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Quality, being yeah. meticulous like that. But then also, you know what I mean? Still being realistic about that shit. You can get yeah. a lot done. Yeah. You're doing your thing. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming through today. Yes. Definitely got the project. No, I appreciate out. you guys for having me. Yeah, let us know. Let everybody know uh, your, the socials. Where, where can where we find you? Yeah, where can we find you yes. and the music? Yeah, so um, Holly Michelle two oh six on Instagram and Holly Michelle. You just type. You can Google me. Everything is gonna pop up Google for you. Google that shit. You know how to use it. Everything will pop up for you. Music is everywhere. iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud. Everything Alex. for free on SoundCloud. So if you guys, you can always get my music free there. But support the movement. You know. All the shit and all the stuff. You know, um, on the TikTok, you said you were talking about TikTok and all that. You got the lit oh, TikTok. Oh, yeah. Don't ask me my... You know what? I will post my TikTok in okay. my story, you guys. There we go. There <laughs> you go. Know, no, but- yeah, there you go. Keep that shit exclusive. Yeah. It's your boy, Cal Naughty. It's your boy, Mr. Idef, Henry 100K. And Holly Michelle. Let's get it. Boom. And we out.